The question is whether H2O is ionic or covalent. This is water, the water molecule. We have the periodic table here. It's divided up into metals, metalloids, and nonmetals. So hydrogen's over here. It is a nonmetal. Even though these are all metals, hydrogen is a nonmetal. So we have hydrogen and then oxygen over here. Oxygen is also a nonmetal. When we have two nonmetals, it's going to be a covalent compound, sometimes called a molecular compound. Let's take a look at the structure of water to understand what that means when we say water is a covalent compound. So this is the Lewis dot structure for water. And we can see these pairs of electrons. These are the chemical bonds between the hydrogen and the oxygen. These are covalent bonds. What that means is that they're shared. And because they're shared, the hydrogen, it has two. That's a full outer shell for hydrogen. Oxygen has its octet. That has a full outer shell. So for covalent bonds, these electron pairs between atoms, they're shared. They're not transferred. They're shared. Sometimes you'll see them written as a line. That represents the pair of electrons there. When we talk about the molecular geometry, water is a bent molecule. So we have this bent shape for water. These two electrons here and these here, they're actually up here. They're lone pairs. They're not drawn in this representation. So this is our water molecule. One thing we do need to understand is that water is covalent, but it's a polar covalent compound. If we look at the electronegativity for hydrogen and oxygen, here's hydrogen and here's oxygen. It's a fairly large difference. In this difference, it has important implications. So if we go back to our water molecule, what happens is because there's a difference between electronegativity in the oxygen and the hydrogen, this oxygen ends up being a little bit negative and the hydrogen ends up being a little positive, each of these. So it has poles. It has a negative pole and a positive pole. And that's what gives rise to the hydrogen bonding. So in answer to our question H2O, this is a covalent compound and we can say it's a polar covalent compound because of the difference in electronegativity between the oxygen and the hydrogen atoms. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.